Julie. Mm. You ready to hike? Does it look like I'm ready to hike? <laughs> it don't look like it. Yeah, it does. Wake up, Julie. Ooh, mask it. Mask. Uh, good morning, everybody. Uh, it looks like it just finished raining. It is 6.26 in the morning. It is... Whew. Good morning, everybody. It is 6.26 in the morning. May 26th. And uh, just finished raining. As you can see, it's a little wet. We're hiking out from our little stealth spot. Um, hopefully we get some kind of a view. We're going up to the Brongli Mountain and uh, stopping by the shelter to use the privy real quick. And then we're gonna get some climbing in, but nice early start today. It took me a long time to get Julie out of the tent. Julie? I mean, I'm glad you did because it is gonna rain tomorrow, but I was tired. Yeah. So, but uh, yeah, I'm glad we got out a little earlier. Yesterday was awesome. Uh, Mark hooked it up. So thanks again for the trail magic and the rides. That worked out perfectly. We didn't have to hitch, so I was super happy about that. But yeah. The Bromley Brook. Bromley Brook. This only means one thing, on the way to Bromley Mountain. Look at that bridge. Isn't that gorgeous? Vermont is absolutely beautiful. I got that on video, Julie. I did. Julie. Ah! I almost tripped myself. I got it on video. Summit in one mile. Julie, I'm guessing with this fog we won't get a view. Probably not. Yeah. I'm lucky if I see you in front of me. Yeah. It's uh, milky white right now, and uh, yeah, it's pretty pretty fogged in, everyone's, but uh, it is what it is, kind of just happy to be out and hiking this morning. Um, I'll stop by and we'll check out the ski hut up there, see if anybody's sleeping or if anyone's up there, but uh, yeah, probably won't get a view. Uh, trail goes this way. And there's the little hut. So, it's a ski mountain. And uh, since we get no views. Nothing for our hikers if it's raining. Yeah. Julie, look. Oh, free. If it's free, it's for me. If it's free, it's for you. But I don't know what this is. Mm. What is this? These I'll take. Little cocoa mixes. You can drink that. Yeah. So there's a phone up here. Um, guessing there's a sign in up here. I don't have my soda. Mm. There's a fine view on a nice day. And uh whew. Uh, trash can? I don't know if you're allowed to use this because, I don't know, I guess maybe somebody cleans it out, but, um, you gotta pack your trash out, you know, and, uh, there's a little, little room here, pretty cool, take a little lunch break, or a uh, breakfast break.
the outlets aren't on, but that's okay. You'll never be as fast as me, nope. Yeah, I... <laughs> well, I wasn't going to... I thought the AT was over there. It's over there somewhere. It is over there. Uh, so I went over there and found the restroom, and then I was like, well, I'll come over here and check out this building. I was just yelling, you'll never be as fast as me, nope. I've been here for 30 Shit, minutes. Yeah, fast as you. I'm always catching your ass. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Julie, Julie, I go, you'll never be as fast as me, no. No, I go, shit, I'm always catching you. He said what? Whatever it is, I'm taking uh, We got free yeah. stuff here. So nice. Nope, any, well, how was the cabin? I wanted to ask you. The cabin was awesome. Yeah? Um, Not I had, yeah, there were four middle aged ladies there. Oh, <laughs> uh, they were giving me trail magic. Yeah. Nope, loves his attention uh, from the ladies. Yeah, I was giving them trail stories and whatnot. Uh, oh, that's just so adorable! <laughs> <laughs> Keep know? feeding you candy and... Yeah, they're just out for the weekend. Nice, that's cool. I heard some voices over there, but there's no views right now, but... There we go. Oh, no! What did you say? Yeah, that's me. <laughs> like, I'm trying to call up to you. Yeah. Now, what's your favorite moment of Family Feud? Uh, family Feud, yeah. Uh, it was... Uh, this this, this is fu funny things Nope likes at the watering source. Yeah. <laughs> but the question was like, uh, what would a what would a burger going to see if you break it into your house or something like that? And the guy buzzes in and said, Naked Grandma! <laughs> <laughs> what are the chances and of seeing? Is that at his house? What are the chances of you breaking into a house and letting it into a naked grandma? Yeah. <laughs> you know? Who would say that? Who would say that? Was it a weird looking guy or was it a normal guy? It is a normal looking guy. I mean, yeah. it's your on Family Feud, I don't the know, game show. It's like you just blurt things out. I do that all the time. Yeah. Yeah, you know? you just blurt stuff out. Well, maybe you should go on Family Feud and you'll have your own moment. <laughs> you That's a Family Feud that. contestant right there. Yeah. yeah, Family Feud, yeah, that's my favorite game oh, show. It's the I shit they to... come up with. Yeah, and they got it on YouTube? They have it on yeah, YouTube? Oh yeah, they got yeah. their own YouTube channel. Yeah, they got all kinds of funny shit on there. Yes. Alright, so we're having a lovely day on the trail. No, it's not raining. And uh, what's your name? Kaiser, or Tom. Kaiser. Kaiser. What's your uh, favorite part on the AT? Right here, this Peru uh, Peak Wilderness, which you're just about to enter. Yeah. It's awesome. Ver Vermont, and then... Uh, Vermud. Vermud. Yeah, as, as I sometimes yeah. call it, Vermud. Even though it's gorgeous, I like it. But like yeah. we had a couple, a couple days ago, it took us God knows how long to to get the miles in because we were hopping rock oh, to bet. rock. I bet. But uh, yeah, it's beautiful up here. So it is. Yeah. Yeah. The guy, bummer. The guy ahead of you. Uh huh. He wasn't reading his guidebook well, and he busted a pole tip. Ooh. He was asking how to get to Manchester. I'm like, dude. Do you know who it was? Some young guy. With glasses. Oh, okay. Through hiking. Yeah. He's, okay. he's through hiking northbound. He's ju just ahead of you. Okay, maybe we'll, maybe we'll see him. Minutes. Oh, you know who it could be? It could be uh, Uncle Grandpa. Yeah. Orange maybe. shorts? Orange shorts? I think so. Blue what? Shorts. Who? Blue shorts. Blue shorts. Blue shorts. Young, Young guy. He looks like he's okay. a late teenager. Okay, we'll, we'll, oh, maybe we'll see him. He's one of the bros. The There's no the no bros. bros that started early. I think they passed us somewhere, but oh, I, I think she saw him out of the tent. I didn't actually see him. They yeah. had a lot of so. blue gear. Oh yeah, but thanks for being in the in the video. And yeah, man, thank happy you. hiking. This is a really cool section of trail. We just had the we were up at the uh, the Bromley yeah. place. Yeah, the that's go that's there. gorgeous up there. That little that little hut. Nice, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. You don't see that you know on every peak. So <laughs> thanks for that. All right, nope. They left me water trail magic here. It says yeah. please put empty yeah. jugs yeah. back in it baskets. Says four baskets. Yeah, yeah, by the long trail. If four baskets. Yep. It says it's all for you. Yeah. We are going up Styles Peak right now. Uh, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, climbing up these things. Uh, beautiful 
wilderness and uh, it's kind of tree covered over here but I'm hoping the sky is opening up I'm hoping I can get a view for you guys because absolutely gorgeous up here I'm loving it Styles Peak leery. view okay. chicken it was chicken. Fully cooked chicken. Oh, I should have taken that. Hmm? Nice. No, I'm good. I don't want any. I'm good. Mm -hmm. Not poaching. Fully He's cooked chicken. He's sharing his food with you. No, I'm good. I'm good. I don't want any chicken. I'm good. You turned down his food? He's got a... Yeah, he's I was climbing up the I'm climbing up the mountain. I was like, it was bothering me and bothering me. I, I don't know what the hell's in that package. <laughs> what was that free stuff I picked up in the tram? Yeah, I mean, what's that free stuff I picked yeah. up? It's gotta be something. Imagine if it we was got spam. to the bottom of it. Well, it's chicken is better than spam. Nope. Free chicken or free spam? What would you choose? Nothing better than spam. All right. All right. We got Lost Pond Shelter, 4.5. It's a cool little lunch spot. Peru shelter and uh, got a bagel. Oh, the map looks like the... Avocado trail magic from yesterday. Mm -hmm. Thanks again. I'm gonna make a little avocado creation on a bagel. Mm -hmm. And here's my avocado pepperoni creation on a cinnamon raisin bagel. All right, guys. So we are at Peru shelter. Julie, do, have you you said you you you've been to Peru? Yeah, I'm half Peruvian. I have family that still lives in Peru. Uh huh. My cousins live there. All my grandmas, brothers, and sisters live in Peru. And so you, been, you I went there two years ago. Oh, nice. So what, what did you guys did you see the Machu Picchu? Yeah. So we did that at the very end. We flew into Lima. Mm -hmm. we stayed in Lima for a couple days. Then we flew. To Is Lima the gateway to the Machu Picchu? Lima is the basically the city that you fly into from here. Mm -hmm. The That's big city that has an airport. The big city. It's right on the shore there. Mm -hmm. It's a huge city. It's kind of like a Peruvian New York City. Okay. So then from there, we visited some family there. Then we took a little tiny plane uh -huh. to get to Iquitos, which is like a little city in the Amazon. Uh -huh. And then we stayed uh, there for a day. And then we took a big boat few hour boat ride out into the Amazon and then stayed in the Amazon jungle for like four days. Did some hiking there? Did some hiking there. They have the largest lily pads in the world. Oh wow. Piranha fishing. We went um we saw some Do monkeys. piranhas eat humans? If a human they falls off you. a boat? They can bite you, yeah. You will get eaten alive. It can bite you real bad. Yeah. And then That's we crazy. saw some monkeys, we saw sloths. And then we went back to Iquitos, saw some of my cousins there. Mm -hmm. And then we went back to, uh, actually no, yeah, I think from there we flew to, to uh, Cusco. Uh -huh. We stayed in Cusco for a little bit to get acclimated to the elevation. Mm -hmm. And then we did the Inca Trail. Oh, Machu nice. Picchu. Do you and remember how many miles it was to get to, get to the Machu Picchu? Um, I know it's we probably a hard do, climb. We didn't do the whole trail because I was with my aunt and uncle. Yeah. We only did a day or so. Okay. Um, how many miles did we do? I don't know how many miles we it's did. It's like an all day of hiking probably. Yeah, eight or ten miles I think I did. Yeah. It. But it's like a five five day backpacking trip, I think. Totally. Five day backpacking trip. Unless you're nope, then you do it in one day. Well. Machu Picchu in one day. They don't let you go up there without a guide. Yeah. They don't nope allow is the guide. No, it would be the guy. <laughs> they don't allow you to go without a guide. Yeah. I'm my own guy. <laughs> yeah. I am I am the captain now. <laughs> There's no hikes away. That's I am pretty my own guy. That's pretty cool though. Uh that's uh that's been on one of my two C things. I wanted to get like photos of it and yeah. actually bring a nice camera out there and you do, and do the all hike? side hikes. Not just the big hike, but like some side stuff that's mm -hmm. not as well dis discovered trails. Um, yeah, the yeah. Inca Trail, it goes all the way up above Machu Picchu yeah. at the Sun Gate. Yeah. And while we were there, our guide that we had, she said that we were very lucky and blessed because once we got to the Sun Gate, 
which the sun god in Peru is a condor. Uh -huh. And uh, we saw an Indian uh, condor flying above the sun gate, which oh, she wow. said in all the years she's been a god there. Uh -huh. Never once has she seen a condor at the sun gate. Huh. Actually, she said they don't fly that high. Wow. And that it was a blessing for us, and that it brings So maybe it was up. like, because you guys are Peruvian coming back to your homeland, kind of. Um, you know, it's pretty cool to yeah. have that and happen. Yeah, and then... Uh, then so that the sun gate overlooks Machu Picchu. That's, that's really awesome. Nice. Well, that's pretty cool. Thanks Thank for you. the story, Julie. Uh, Griffith Lake, everybody. Named it wrong. Griffith Lake, or as Nope would call it. Nope. What what would it be called? Uh, what would that What would that lake be called? The Griffith. The Griffith Pond. <laughs> yeah. Griffith Pond. They named it wrong. Yeah. Because everything in New England is a pond. That's funny. Whoever named it died in New England. Yeah. Some guy out of Iowa snuck up here. Yeah. To to route this the trail around here, and called it a uh, lake. Junior was telling me that AT goes up, and I was like, no way. Yeah. Really? Well, there's a sign back there that shows AT Long Trail. Yeah. This way. She's like, AT goes up. No way. Yeah. Really? It goes up? Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. Nope loves the climbs. If you ask Nope what his favorite th thing is on trail, he'll tell you. It's oh, I love climbing. Downhill? No. Flat terrain? Nope. Rollers? He'd say F rollers. Yeah. But he loves to climb. Yeah. All right, everybody. So we just came up the slabs right here, and this is uh, we're almost at Baker Peak, and Julie's taking a selfie. No, no nope got... taking my picture. Oh, it's a not a selfie, but a photo for Instagram. Yeah, I've felt in. But uh, this is the view right before you get to Baker Peak. That's a good yeah. picture. Thank you. That's absolutely. Guys, guys, take stops right in the middle there. Oh, you gotta check out the view. Yeah. Look, I'm in the middle of a fucking rock <laughs> slab. All right, let's see what Nope is up to here. I think he's doing some trail maintenance. There's the trail with a tree over it. Nope, underneath the tree. The, tr the tree is fighting back. The tree is fighting back and wants to stay on the trail. Nope is using all of his force to <laughs> Pull the little tree off the trail. There he is. Yeah, he's strong. Yeah. He's got some lean but big muscle. Oh yeah, I know he's strong. He's strong. I've seen him kick a tree before. Yeah. I've seen I've seen Nob do kicks kicks on an old dead tree before. Nice yeah. job. We appreciate. Hey, still wearing a pack. Yeah. Well, obviously, yeah. Yeah, he's still got a pack on. You don't got no time to take the pack off. Yeah, yeah. And then Julie is gonna pace us now. That's good though. We got the tree out of it. Well, Nope got the tree out of it. I'm including myself in this. Yeah. We got the tree. Yeah. We got the tree cleared. You're welcome, everyone. Lost Pond Shelter, about 2 p.m. Uh, did over 14 miles already, and uh, stopping here for water and a snack break. Lost Pond Shelter, and the water source is down a short little, short but steep trail right there. So yeah, taking a five minute break and then back on trail.
This is Little Rock Pond. Wait, AT goes this way. Yeah, that's AT South. Yeah, that's AT. The yeah. LT goes this way. Yeah. No, we just came. We're on from, the AT, so we, we gotta go that way. We just came from over there. No. But it says AT goes that way, though. <laughs> We're not on the LT. <laughs> this, this is what I have to deal with. I gotta explain to Nope that can't go. We can't turn around and go back. <laughs> We're doing both. Nope. We're on the lot. Can't do both. <laughs> but I uh, just ran into a viewer. Shout out to Carl. Yeah, you might have to redo it. So I do the long trail. I only gotta do this that that to the northern section because I already did the AT. Yeah. Right. I, I don't know how that works. Right. I don't know if you can overlap this, them or you gotta redo them. Since I already did the AT LT section. Yeah. Killing two birds with one stone. Yeah. So there used to be uh, rock gardens over here and uh, you can still see a couple of them but it looks like a good amount of them have been knocked down. Um, there's one little one over there but yeah pretty cool. Used to be a really cool spot but I don't know if somebody knocked them down or what happened. Julie, what do you think of the rock creation? These are really cool. There's an airplane. There's like a, I don't know, someone hula hooping there. Mm -hmm. There's a penguin. Yeah. Nope, are you not impressed by the rock people? I'm going to head to the shelter, yeah. All right. I'm going to head to the shelter to find a pet spot. All right. Pretty cool. Rock people. There's a big one right there. Bunch of little, little smaller ones. They even put them up in the trees. I don't know why. But they even start building them up in the trees and stuff. Kind of cool. Last time I got here, it was raining. Couldn't get any footage, so I'm going all out this time. Showing you guys the cool rock people. Look at this one. On that rock right there. Uh, green wall shelter. It says it's point three, point three or whatever it is. But uh, nope, went in there. Um, we're probably gonna look for a stealth spot, trying to get closer to Killington. Um, we're already at like 24 miles in right now, so we'll cruise on a little more and then uh, find a stealth spot. Um, and then we'll see tomorrow will be a big day into Killington. I don't know But uh Today was a pretty decent day. I saw I finally got footage of the rock people. So I'm happy with that um, I don't know Julie. How was your hiking day today? Oh I had a bad day today. Julie fell a bunch of times. I kept falling like a lot yeah, Your legs are dirty. I got a cut there my knee got banged up. Yeah. I got black and blue marks all over my arms. I don't know where they came from. Hmm. I don't know. It's a, I mean, it's a muddy trail. Like, I, I've taken a couple falls, um, like little snags. You snag your, you know, your foot on something and start like tumbling. You try to avoid one thing and down. then something else yeah. is in the way. So. Or like you hop on a rock and then you, your foot goes into a mud pit or whatever. Um, it's a tough... Vermont's not like not super easy like on this stuff where it's dry you cruise on it and it's good on your feet And it feels great and you're just floating, but then you hit those mud patches and like You got one obstacle and another obstacle and a third obstacle and it's just one after another after another but Yeah, yeah today the views have been like magnificently Yeah, the ponds and the lake yeah. go 
those are pretty. I tried getting as many of those for you guys as I could. The ponds and then the little vista, little little views. It says, like, there's, it says there's some camping spots by the um, the Bully Brook. Yeah. So maybe we could check that out. It's can in, you see how many we did already? It's can in you, uh, back to point eight. How many we do? Uh, so I think, where the heck are we? Oh, there's her there. We camped here, so 24 miles back. Oh, okay, exactly 24. Yeah, so we miles. probably do like 25 today. Yeah. And then like 25 tomorrow, hopefully. Yeah. So today we had, uh, we went up Bromley, and then a couple more like smaller yeah, clams. Yeah, give them a look yeah. at it. Um, where, where is it? So, right here. Yeah. So we went up Bromley yeah. there. Then went down. Went down. Yeah, a little then up. Then we went up. That was what peak was that? That was Styles, Styles peak. peak. Flat. We did that. Downhill. Went down. Went yeah. to had some snacks at Peru. Yeah. Peak shelter. Had another snack there. Used the privy. Mhm. Mm and uh, we're like yeah, over the, here yeah. now. So and then we went and the saw rock, the rock, rock garden. garden. That's where we are yeah. right now. We're gonna so go down here to find a tent towards spot. the parking lot. Cause then you got another up after that. Yeah. See, this is where I, I thought it'd be cool to make it here. Yeah, that's a lot of ups and sh mm. doing that in the dark, you know. Yeah, Let me see. Cause I'm already falling along. Seven, seven point six. Yeah, Claire and Gorge would give us. Yeah, that's I a mean, big, tomorrow day, we yeah. wake up real early. That shouldn't be too bad. And that's what and we got we, for tomorrow. <laughs> we got that huge mountain. That's no joke. Like, what does that no say on joke. there? This is a 4,000 4, footer right there, yeah. right? Yeah. 4K. Killington Peak, 4K. In Ni 19 miles, that's what we're expecting from here. But From here. All right, let's plug away. Okay. Let's see what we can do. My feet are, like, burning from all the mud. Yeah. But it is what it is. Definitely elevate and rinse our feet off. Elevate, yeah, rinse. Yesterday, I, uh... Used the wet wipe and I got like all the mud off. I thought my feet were getting discolored, like they were turning brownish from all the mud. But then I managed to get <laughs> used the wet wipe and it was just dirt. It was dirt like going into the skin, like it was just there for days, days of dirt. Maybe we can wash our feet in the water down here. Yeah, I could use a wet wipe. I got I got a bunch of wet wipes and stuff. It's good to clean off the feet because all the sweat and mud and all that stuff. Good night everybody, thanks for watching. Can't beat this campsite. Water right there. Nice flat spot and you can see the sunset in the distance, so. Pretty sweet. Have a good one everyone. Uh, good morning, everybody. It's May 27th, 8.30 a.m. Uh, got nice sleep. Just uh, made a breakfast carnation, and uh, we're ready to hike. Goal is to get to the inn, uh, the Long Trail Inn. Um, and it's about 24-plus miles away. So we'll get to, to it at some point in the evening tonight. And... Uh, hit up the grill over there and get some food so kind of motivated to get in there today all right we're in the Killington section and uh, Julie are you ready to climb a 4,000 footer Mount Killington mm -hmm. all right let's do it we have uh, Killington coming up at some point today and uh, it's over 4,000 feet there's even an extra peak that you can go up with a view of like the ski area and uh there's an enclosed hut on top of killington so it's pretty cool check that out and yeah, we got some climbs today nothing too bad i'm hoping the trail doesn't have as much like Blow down. blowdowns and bushwhacking type of stuff as yesterday because that's what tired us out it wasn't the miles but by the end of the day we were feeling it from the high stepping and going up and over like trees and all that but I, I gotta put the phone away I'm starting to breathe hard
All right, 10.30 a.m. Julie, you ready? 14 miles to uh, Killington Peak. Cool. Got an airport lookout. Absolutely gorgeous view right here. So green. Oh, did you go into town? No. I was, I, guy showed up and they were just sitting here. Oh, wow. Can you help me if I nice. there, was two of, there was two of them sitting there. Can you, Sweet. Can you catch Two it? of them sitting there and you catch I it? drank one and left a message said, there's yeah. soda here if you want Baskets, one. You, oh, I didn't see you it. gotta try and catch that. All right, I got it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, great, great, great. And yeah, I was sitting here drying out my. Well, thank you, no. Oh, there's a smart one right there. There's a smart one. <laughs> there you go, Julie, you saved it. You saved the soda. Oh, uh, yeah, it was, gonna, it was hot, so it's been sitting there for a while. Right there is the parking lot where we got the Trail Magic Soda. And we get a nice view of the airport and the mountains in the background. All right, so there's a new privy. There's a line to use the privy. Somebody's in there. A little road walk. How far are we from the Killington climb? Know, three miles, I think. About three, like under, under three miles, three miles. About three miles. So we're doing a little road walk and then the trail zoops, zoops, loops around. And back to the forest we go on the footpath. Look how gorgeous these things are, little flowers. Nice little river crossing here. Go, Julie. It's your river crossing. Yeah, I hopped the rocks this way. Um, that's another option there, but that thing is slippery. Like you can tell that stick has a lot of wet spots on it, but she's got it. She's got it. Yep. Nice. The so last time it was raining here and I got here and I'm like, where did everyone take that 500 mile marker sign? They're like, it was right by the register. I ran up, I signed in over there and I ran off. I completely forgot. So here it is. Katahdin baby, that's what I'm talking about. 500 miles. All right, nope, how do you feel? Oh, uh, turn the camera off. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, uh, sorry, no. Uh, I, I, I'll give you your own moment. <laughs> I'll give you a moment. Uh, Julie, I'm gonna give no. Is that no legit? Moment. Do we check gut hook? That's pretty legit, yeah. It's legit. It might be off by a couple miles. I mean, you can check. Uh, what mile are we at right now? Sixteen ninety one. Yep. If you add five hundred, it's off by one mile, but it's pretty much spot on. Cause it's two thousand one hundred, let's see on your tag. So yeah, it's off by one mile, so it's pretty much spot on. Okay. And in one mile in fifteen, twenty minutes is gonna be mm -hmm. spot on. But even as hope died and Sam or seemed to die, it was replaced with new strength. Sam's plain hobbit face grew stern, almost grim, as the, as the will hardened in him, and he felt through all his limbs a thrill, as if he was churning into some creature of stone and steel that neither despair nor weariness nor endless barren miles could subdue. Tolkien. That was a nice one, Speedy G. That's from Lord of the Rings. Unka's our Danish friend was here. Yeah, we were wondering about him because yeah. last time we saw him, he said he got a really bad tick bite and was yeah. going to go into town to the so hospital. So he must have went in and it was fine. And he's we've the guy been worried about him for like a He's the guy in the orange shirt. Days. If you've seen him in the videos, he had an orange shirt. He had an orange shirt, yeah. We were... Julie, why are you laughing so hard? <laughs> well, a few days ago, you were a little tired. And you're like, Julie, Julie, you can go up ahead of me and pace. I was like, okay, I was all excited. And I go to pace, and then, like, not even two seconds, you're like, <laughs> you're like, that was a mistake, move out the way. <laughs> and, I, and then just now, I slow down and let baskets in front of me. <laughs> yeah. And I said the same thing. I was like, that was a mistake, move. Yeah. That hurt my feelings. I'm like, what? <laughs> Alright, we gotta start hiking. Oh, I just couldn't. It was just so funny the look on your face when I said that. Mm -hmm. I gotta get up. Can you grab that tree? Uh, check out this shelter, everybody. This is a nice one. Look at that. Nope, this is my favorite shelter on the AT, I think. Huh? I think this is my favorite shelter on the AT. Yeah, the way it looks, it's absolutely... Let's grab my file, please. Okay. But look at that. I don't know if this is perfect or not. I haven't looked. Look at this fireplace. Does your favorite shelter have a curvy? Um, I don't remember. Yeah. Uh, I wanted to show you guys this cool picture. Yeah, that's the shelter right there. Government Clements Shelter. This shelter was built in 1921. Governor Clements Shelter logbook. So there's the shelter. And it is really old. Uh, it was built in 1929. This is the second oldest shelter on the Long Trail, still in use. And one of the oldest on the AT. A little AT trivia. The oldest shelter on the Long Trail still in use is the Taft Lodge. It was built on the slopes of Mount Mansfield in 1920 by Burlington section of the Green Mountain Club. And then the oldest shelters on the AT is actually West Mountain Shelter and the Fingerboard Shelter, which had a, has a bear problem. Bears uh, come by and like to grab the food from hikers. Happy trails.
Uh, Governor Clemens Shelter. Julie, what is it? 4.3 from Governor to... Cooper Lodge. Yeah, Can you click on it? 4.3. I did. Okay, 4.3. There you go. And the elevation will be 3885. Where are we at now? The shelter. We're at 1906, so almost 2,000. All right, what we're doing is we're going to... 2,000 feet, huh? It's almost 2,000 feet. Oh, 2,000. Almost okay. 2,000. What me and Nope are doing is we're going to have a friendly competition. We're going to record it on Strava. Yeah. And so it's 4.3 miles, right? 4.3 4.3 miles, shelter, yeah. yeah. So we're not racing. We're not racing. We're having a friendly competition of recording it on Strava. And then you guys will see um, the results after, I guess. What so. about me? And Julie will be... What am I doing? Am I just a cheerleader? Cheering us on from, from, from the back row. From the back row? Dude, you'll see. 3.56. Go ahead, Julie. You get a head start. 3.56? 3.56 p.m. Go ahead. You get a head start. I got to make my coffee here. Otherwise, I won't be able to race. 58. Uh, what is it? No, 3.58. 358, we're turning on uh, Strava. Strava, so yeah. Mm -hmm. You got a hike segment on there, or what is it, hike? Yeah, okay, hike. Guys, they stopped, looked at me, and then they all went that way. Julie saw four bears. Oh my god. Well, let's get to the real stuff. 402, Julie's getting past. No, yeah, there's buddy. Like four bears, that don't count. Oh yeah, god. buddy. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> nope. That don't count. The, just because there were bears on the trail, Julie. Okay, Julie. I believe you. I believe you, but I made enough noise where we should be okay. All right, everybody. One hour and 25 minutes to uh, get to Cooper Lodge. <laughs> no, no, nope, just took a spill. He was fine the whole time. I don't like a fucking step. Yeah. yeah, fucking seven fucking foot long fucking high step. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we we called it a tie. It was too dangerous to try to run and sprint the last mile or anything, so we kept it paced. Uh, he he stayed in the front the whole time. I was behind him, and uh, it was a lot of technical stuff. If you've hiked here. You know, it's not an easy up. There's a bunch of zigzagging and rocks and stuff. And uh, yeah, these are the tent platforms. And uh, pretty cool, pretty cool little spot. We're gonna sit out here and wait for uh, Garden State to show up. But, uh, How do you feel, Nope? <laughs> we, we. We were storming up that up that thing, power stepping the whole way. We weren't running, but we were power stepping. It's technical as fuck. Yeah, it's two thousand what? Two thousand one hundred and sixty-six feet elevation gain in four point three miles. Four point two miles. And it's technical as fuck. Yeah, it's really technical. But uh, we averaged all three. kinds of woods and rocks yeah. and low down and all kinds yeah. of fucking crap. I, I was looking at his footing and I'm like, okay, that's a good one. 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 How how how, how did he do that one? Like <laughs> up to bigger rocks. I'm like, all right, that's a good one. But uh, yeah, we stayed together and uh, yeah, I don't advise racing up. Uh, not racing, but we were power hiking up this thing. But we made it. Uh, there's a privy here and that. That cabin is kind of run down, but it's still pretty cool. Old ski hut. All right, guys. So we are descending down from uh, the Cooper Lodge shelter there. Took a little break, and it got chilly up there. So we got layers on. I got my rain jacket on. Nope's got his puffy on. Uh, Julie's got her R1 on and uh we are descending down and going into the inn at the long trail so we're going down via the at and then we have to road walk in there it's going to be a little under a mile i think um and then yeah so it was a good day uh 
weather was beautiful, the sun was out, and it was just gorgeous, gorgeous day. Terrain's nice out here. Look at this guys, this is called Mendon Lookout. Wow, so nice. All right, we're gonna road walk to the inn at the Long Trail. It's gonna be like an extra mile but it is what it is we'll come back here tomorrow in the morning supposedly it's gonna rain but we'll see it's still kind of light out right julie yeah it's not bad yeah so And I just called them, they're open, the restaurant's open for another 10 minutes, so I got some uh, burgers, asked them to put in a couple burgers and chips, and uh, they got stew and maybe something else, so be able to grab something at least. Oh, they got a scale? Yeah. Oh, he doesn't want it. Hmm? The packs. We can wait before we eat. Oh, like later? Yeah. Okay. They just don't want the packs to get mixed in with other stuff. So. Okay. We can wait before we eat. Okay. Really cool uh, place. Look at, look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. Huh? You're in the wrong room. Oh. No, I'm just showing them the, this 21. Yeah. Can you hold it? Let's see what we got here. Oh, it's really cute. Oh, it's so cozy and nice. cute. Oh, look, you got some there. Mm -hmm. Very hiker friendly. Yeah. Very hiker y mm -hmm. type rooms. Really sweet. Tiny bathroom, but. It is, I mean, it's not bad. I'll probably be able to hear you poop. Maybe go to the bathroom first. There you go. That's right. <laughs> See what the view looks like from the from here. Oh, look at that! There's a uh, huge rocks right there. Like you can see all these. Oh wow! Look, look at that. Look at the reef and the. Lights wow! There. It feels like I'm in the mountains. We are in the mountains. Well, like my hotel. My motel is like a campsite oh, view. Nice. It's a stand up shower, but See that? no bath for you tonight. Uh oh. <laughs> All right, ready? Julie's under 130. I just took my shoes off. What does it say, Julie? 175? Yep. 175. I'm gonna take my shoes off. Started at 193. I'm gonna see what mine is. You got a chessboard. How cool is that? Yeah. Bunch of games. 